Hey, hello, welcome. Welcome back to another Uncredit video. Welcome back to another unedited Diablo 3 video. Part 13. Happy. Happy to be back. Happy to be back in town. Happy to be back in business. All in all, just a happy day today, really. As you know, it's my free day. I, I say as you know, maybe you don't know. It's still the same day as where I recorded episode 12 of this series. Is it a series? Are they just random videos? And should I not really call them a series? Who knows, you know? Who knows? More importantly, who cares? All that matters is you're here right now. I'm here right now. Let's have a little bit of fun together, shall we? And that fun is gonna be in the shape of some random greater rift runs today. Because what else would you do in the Aluchi, you know? Sure, I could include some other content, some normal rifts. I could even do some petrified screams. I could go crazy and go hunting for cosmic win wings. Jesus Christ. But no, it's all about the grind, you know? It's all about that Sigma grind set about up in here. We don't care about other things to do in the game. We want to play efficiently. We are focusing on gaining more and more Paragon levels to become stronger, to gain even more and more Paragon levels. It's a vicious cycle without actually being vicious, you know. I'm playing this purely by my own choice and purely because I find it a valuable, a valuable endeavor to embark upon. A valuable spending of my time for now. Maybe that's a little bit of a life hack that I discovered lately is that normally playing video games maybe feels not like the best use of your time, especially if you could also be reading, studying, being a general contributing, contributing member to society in any way, shape or form, really. Then again, no, but also then again, a little auto non reference in there. I am recording YouTube videos right now, which is valuable to me. It is in line with what I want to do in life. So it's just a life hack, you know. Whenever you think you are wasting time, press that record button. You're not wasting time at all. Although, this specific subject and my reasoning behind why I started doing this unedited gaming content has been like the topic of conversation for the past 29 videos. So maybe there you also realize that I am just full of shit and actually not doing anything valuable or contributing to the society at all. Because everybody has already seen through my charades, pierced my veil, and everyone knows that I am just full of shit and not actually creating anything meaningful at all. Which is uh, pretty, pretty insane to realize. But I'm glad I have the self-awareness. And yet, even though I realized that, here I am once again feeling lost, but now and then headed into the next rift without any remorse, without any second thought. What have I been doing today? Recording a bit. Went for an amazing run this morning. Let's talk about that for a little while, you know. Running, big part of my life. Or it has been a big part of my life so far. Lately, it was not a big part of my life anymore at all. Not that I didn't have the time. I didn't make the time for it at all anymore. And today, that finally changed. Actually, yesterday evening it changed. Yesterday evening I was like, you know, tomorrow I kind of have a little bit of my free day. I should definitely spend an hour or so of it getting ready going for a run taking a shower and then calming down a little bit and i am so glad i did it really game changer life-changing experience i can hear you thinking like how the hell can going for one single run be a life-changing experience it's not going for one single run it's the journey i embark upon from the moment of thinking about that plan in my head to the moment of plumping back down into my seat into my sofa here at home after taking a shower and being like all right yeah that was amazing set a goal for myself that was in line with my values and healthy kept my brain juices flowing a little bit body mind connection and all that chess we know about that here on the Uncred channel that's all cool that's all fine that's all a-okay and additionally just the fact that i just did it you know one of the most remarkable things of my run this morning in my opinion Maybe also my girlfriend's opinion, because she was the only other person there. We don't necessarily sleep with more than two people in our bed most of the time. I was like, all right, I am going to watch another YouTube video right now, and then I'm going to go for a run. And then something inside of me just clicked, something snapped, something changed. And I was like, wait, will watching one more YouTube video really like prepare me better to go for a run? Or will it add more value to my day? More value than just going for that run right now you know and that's when it hit me that's when i was like hell nah 
absolutely not why would i watch that one youtube video i have time to watch youtube later today or before i go to sleep or i, I have all the time in the world to those to do those things but right now the sun is shining right now i am still waking up and some physical activity is sometimes even better or almost always even better than a cup of coffee to actually get out of that midnight rut get out of that nightly rut to stop being tired is what i'm willing to say to wake up in an efficient manner and I just put my phone away, got ready, and went for a run. Didn't watch that one YouTube video, no. I just got ready, got outside, and stretched a little bit beforehand, because it was a while ago since I had ran, and I don't want to dislocate my shoulder or anything, or break my foot, sprain my ankle, accidentally just come on the side of the road. No, I want to be a little bit prepared. And, oh, I see a primal. Yeah, 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 two primals, a quiver and a bow. It's not the bow. Holy shit. No way. Oh, it's not my quiver. I thought for a second that was my quiver, but no, it's not. Wow, oh, but that's awesome though. I think it's a quiver that you can use for some other build, maybe for the strafe build or something, but... Ooh, oh, the dopamine rush throughout my brain right now is immense. It's ex absolutely insane. If you thought the party they organized in Project X was something that spruced up the dopamine systems in their brain that they have never experienced the joy of getting not one but two primals elemental arrow i don't think this actually is a primal that you ever use in any build and then this bow definitely also is not it is like a great combination though if i would want to go for an elemental arrow build this is definitely like the dream team right here but for the build that we have right now not the primals we are looking for still though amazing feeling insane feeling my heart is raising my penis is getting enlarged a little bit i should really stop talking about those things it's funny to an extent right that kind of humor but after a while you're just like all right yeah this this is not okay uh it's not ancient so we don't even need to look at it two petrified screams from that greater rift or maybe from two greater rifts that's also possible yeah i guess I guess we will just disenchant them. But it is cool. It is very cool. The sad thing is that we don't have anything else to do with our primordial ashes. So now it will just be another type of currency that is starting to stack up in our inventory. All in all though, cool experience. Very fun experience. Five more levels into the dexterity talent tree. And we're headed straight back into it. That is the motivation boost you need to continue, you know. That is the motivation boost that makes you realize, right... I have unlocked the double primal drop rate already. I have shown this game, shown the Blizzard Overlord that I don't have a life. And they are now rewarding me. Rewarding me with a little scent, just a little hint, a little teaspoon of dopamine inside the cortex. And I'm already chasing my next rush. Makes it sound like I am just addictively playing to keep playing, but no. I am very mindfully trying to stand still. And to realize what these feelings in me are. Why I have them. What it means to get a primal. Why it's so nice for me. And how it can motivate me to go on. To push through. To push through the struggles that a real Diablo player experiences. Because of course this is one of the hardest things to do in life. You know playing Diablo. It's really I should get like a medal of honor given to me by the queen. Mm, not by the queen I guess. But by Biden himself. Kind of forgot that she died for a second there. Although it is, of course, a very important death in the near the near past, in the almost the present, really. I think the repercussions of her demise are still, like, playing out. That was the fastest Great Rift I think I have ever done. We just got back-to-back -back primals. We just got back-to-back -back primals. And I'll say it one more time. We just got back-to-back -back primals. I don't know what the hell is going on, but I am, like, all for it. What was it this time? It was a ring. And what else? Like, a chest armor, right, I think? I think, yeah, it's right there. Those two at the top. What ring is it? That's I don't think that's a ring that we need, but we just we just got back to back primals. Did I talk to you guys about this already? Have you heard about this? About the fact that we just got back to back primals? Anybody aware of that situation? It's gonna be even more primordial ashes, but... Or is this the one that my follower is wearing? No, it's not right. No, it's the other one. I will keep... 
you know I'll, I'll keep them for now because there's no reason for me to disenchant them i'm, I'm kind of sad that i didn't keep the previous ones because well having them as kind of like a trophy a trophy is nice i could display them above my fireplace in my hunting cabin in the woods Batman's legacy that's the one we need oh man if that would have been primal though whoo, you would have heard me scream right up until your doorstep up until your house in illinois in america that's right i'm talking to you jeremy right there i see you i see you too through the power of the internet we are empowering all our greater rifts for no reason other than just to get rid of our money a little bit because we are not going to be able to spend it in any other way i have engaged a corrupted angel why does it say that that's so weird because it's it was just a minion of a yellow of a yellow a yellow of a yellow guy right so why does it say that in chat i don't necessarily realize why that is and i also shouldn't care about it because i always forget that my doofy ass goofy head is blocking the chat right here down in the bottom left because i always think that well in diablo the chat is not important but then all of a sudden you get your buddy berglicht messaging you and you have to respond to him and you want your people to see it your people you guys are my people i have a dream something like that you know morgan freeman <laughs> it's fucked up martin luther king of course don't want to disrespect the ends that men went to that man went to not plural just one guy just a guy really went to to get a better life for black people in america and therefore for americans in general and for the world because of course the things he did are so inspirational towards everybody in the entire world i think that it has produced a better life for each and every individual organism roaming roaming this desolate wild wild place we call home i don't necessarily know like exactly everything he did i know that i have a dream speech of course i know that he was very much into activism and into black people rights i know that he was against separation if that was even still the case by then that's why i, I my chronologic dates and stuff my chronologic feelings are all mixed up all i know that is he was all i know is that he was a very important person in history not just like in history in general but he is definitely someone i admire as well and therefore for for admiring him i don't necessarily need to know every detail of his work i just know what he stood for and that's important enough for me to realize that well he is a person to look up to i am not racist in the slightest i'm i'm gonna be honest because honesty is a virtue that we you can't have enough of in life sure racist humor is something that sometimes comes up it's something i can laugh at it's something i sometimes produce myself 1069 but i am not inherently racist in the slightest not at all not even close and there's definitely going to be some people that think like hmm those two can't coexist right if you are a fan of racist humor not that i would necessarily call myself a fan of racist humor but if you ever utter racist humor or you laugh at racist humor you are a racist yourself i don't think that's true i don't think that's the case at all i think you need to be able to laugh at everything long time viewers of the onkra channel will definitely realize that this is a topic that we have talked about I think even more than 50 times already in separate videos, in separate games, in separate periods of my life. But it is a, a lifestyle or a part of life that I will keep being an advocate for towards the end of my days. Especially also because I use humor so much in my therapy sessions. I want everybody to realize that it's such an important aspect of human life. Being able to laugh at stuff, to poke fun at everything, to poke fun at the absurdity of life itself sometimes even. I think that's also something important you cannot forget life is so crazy sometimes and being able to laugh with that and at that is sometimes the best remedy to some of the things we get encountered with in our day-to-day -day life something my homie Dirk de wachter famous dutch or belgian psychiatrist very much agrees with me upon i think that was a butcher sentence but i think the main message is still clear also something i think albert camus french philosopher probably agrees with me on i know that he has written about the absurdity of life a little bit i know that throughout my readings of existential therapies by mick cooper and also because of Dirk de wachter probably and just like a general interest in some philosophy and i also know it because of tom rosenthal 
because that amazingly talented artist who normally sings about big pots of hummus and how he's doing all right, which sounds absolutely crazy, can also make a song about a philosopher and his view on life and meaning and things. A very diverse artist with a large range. Normally they talk about the aspect of range when they are discussing actors. When they are discussing the different types of roles that certain actors can embody. Let's see who is a, a great example of an actor with a lot of range. I think that people would maybe call Edward Norton a guy with a lot of range. He can go from his role in Birdman to... His role as the Hulk, he was the Hulk, right? To American History X, to his role in The Glass Onion now. Maybe Miles Teller also, Whiplash. Uh, Whiplash, but then also War Dogs, and then also Project X. I think those are both actors critically acclaimed for their rage, range, rather. For their rage, it might be J.K. Simmons, also because of Whiplash, but, or Spider-Man. But I think Whiplash is definitely more a, a better example of his rage. Who else is known for range? Let's see. Uh, Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill and Leo DiCaprio both actually have quite a range, in my opinion. They just portray so many different characters in so many different films that I think that also... Also... Elicits, elicits a bit of a... A response in me when I'm thinking about range in actors. I think that they pop up in my mind because of that as well a bit. An actor that is probably not known for his range at all is I think Christopher Waltz. Who you know from Django Unchained and from Inglorious Bastards. Because he plays kind of a little bit of the same character, right? Just like this arrogant, very intelligent, smart, smug piece of shit. Well, no, in Django Unchained, he's not really a piece of shit, but he, he has this certain demeanor about him, this kind of quality in his acting that is, like, um, that is always, always there throughout whichever role he embodies, which is, I think, equally as admirable as having a large range, right? I think both of those qualities can have their good sides and their bad sides. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.